episode 903, Love Doesn't Judge. It's time to train for life and love your journey. In this episode of Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, you'll learn new ways to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew your mind, body, and spirit. Please welcome your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. Are you ready for a long weekend? Yes, here in the United States, we have got the 4th of July, and I know some people, it's not till Tuesday, but we're celebrating it today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. We've taken an extended period of time off, which is wonderful, so I do hope that you are enjoying your family this holiday weekend. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com, where you can learn more and to sign up for the Kisses newsletter. They keep it simple strategy, everyday solutions to live, love, and impact. Today is about relationship builders. We've been working on marriage specifically, talking about what we need to do, and it's all about love doesn't judge. No matter the status of your relationship, the status of your marriage, love doesn't judge. How many times have you caught yourself fast forwarding to your response in your mind before your spouse has even finished the story? So you're standing there and you're listening to him speak, but it's like, womp, 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 and your mind's going, well, I can't believe he did this, and now I've got to come back with this, and wow, he really should have done this, and then why haven't we just, where's the answer? Okay, and then all of a sudden you interrupt him. Have you ever had those conversations? I've had many of them. And I know one reason why I can have many of them, because I do kind of see a little bit further than my husband does. He would admit it. So I'm not telling you anything that he doesn't know that we haven't discussed. So this is not a tattletale session. Please understand that. But what I want to do is I want to illustrate to you where we fall short in our marriage when it comes to love. Love doesn't judge, yet we all do it. But it doesn't judge, yet we all do it. Yes, I can repeat that over and over and over again. If you go back in to some of your conversations earlier this week, I bet that you will find at least one, if not five, where you were standing there or sitting there or maybe even on your phone going, I just wish she would get to the end of it so I could say my piece. Now, you may have not said it in that tone of voice in your head, but that's the whole gist of it. We all judge, but it's wrong. So my husband comes home earlier this week, earlier than normal, before like five o'clock. And normally, I would say probably on average, it's between six and seven o'clock, depending upon his schedule. And he doesn't really necessarily have a control over that schedule. And so therefore, we kind of just hang out wondering when he's going to get here. And he'll text me and say, hey, this is what's going on, et cetera. Well, he comes home early, which I was absolutely thrilled with love when he's off early and he can come home and be home with the families. Plus it's summertime, right? So the boys can hang out with them. The girl, you know, usually was one or the other. Most of the time it's just Ashley who's home. The other one's still working, won't come home until the evening. And so it's, it's great. It's just our family time. Well, there I stood to greet him with a smile, a hug, and a kiss. However, I could tell something was up. Because he came in to where I was. I was working actually on some stuff for Creature Now. And there was this, like, I, I don't know, something was twirling in his mind. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, he's judging me. I'm standing there, dressed in my workout clothes. They were clean, by the way. My hair was nicely done. It wasn't anything dramatic or anything, but it was all clean. I had just been to the hairdresser to get it cleaned. I mean, cleaned, colored. It was clean because she washed it, too. But to get it colored, because all I have is white coming in. So thank the Lord, she can take care of my roots and I look 15 years younger. Woohoo! So I knew my hair was clean. I had already cleaned myself up for the day. So I was clean. I was wearing clean. Yes, I was in workout clothes, but it was clean workout clothes. But I didn't have my Lee Press on face. So to him, I wasn't ready for the day. So I could tell in his mind, she hadn't taken a shower. She's not cleaned up for the day. What in the heck did she do all day today? I'm home early and this is my reception. Now, I tell you this because I love him. And the thing is, is he admitted it. So don't think I'm not telling you a story that he doesn't know. Because then guess what? My youngest is standing there. And he goes, he's just listening. And I actually called out my husband on it. And I said, you know what? And I told him exactly what I just said to you. And he looked there 
at me. And he was like, he had this little smirk on his face as I was continuing the conversation as to as if this is what was going on in his mind. And sure enough, he goes, yep, you're right. You're exactly right. I'll admit it. And I was like, yes, sort of. I didn't really celebrate because then I was like, wait a minute. Love doesn't judge, yet I was being judged. We all judge all the time. We judge our spouses. We judge our best friends. We judge our family. We judge our children. We judge. But what gives us that right to judge? On what basis? Think about it. It's a hard question. Yeah, I was right, but that doesn't mean that I wanted to be right. You see, little did he know that all of his judgments and perceived outline of the day, or I should say preconceived outline of the day, was totally false. Because I was clean on everything, but to his count, me being quote unquote ready for the day is if I've showered, that means I've went ahead and put my makeup on. Now, he loves me without my makeup. Don't get me wrong here. Don't send me emails of saying, oh my gosh, your husband. No, he loves me to death and I love him to death. But these are our quirks. And I'm here to share with you our quirks because you got him too. And we got to figure out where our bigger quirks are and work on those. And for some of us, it's judgment. It's these preconceived notions of saying, well, this is how the day should look. Well, maybe in your world, but in my world, this is how it runs. I had a wonderful day, a very productive day. I was very clean. I just didn't have some of the things that he considered ready for the day. Now, you might be saying, oh, man, maybe this does ring a little bit true for me also. In your marriage, what assumptions and judgments are you making? What are you making of your spouse? Be honest and think hard about this question. I could say that to my husband when he came in earlier this week and we had this little conversation. It was a conversation. It wasn't even an argument. I mean, we were giggling. We were laughing. My son learned a lesson because I used it as a teachable moment saying, you see, daddy thinks this, but you see how it's this. And he was here with me all day. So he knew. He's like, yeah, mom, you, yeah, you got lots done today. So he understood. I'm praying that will help him later on in his marriage. But some of us, we don't get those teachable moments in our life. And we think that love judges. That's just how we do it because everybody in the world judges. As much as I don't want to, we make those assumptions about anybody. You see somebody, a stranger, you right off the bat are going to make five, easily five, if not seven assumptions of that person. You're judging them. Yeah, I know that sounds really harsh, but we're here to be real, aren't we? You want to be your best selfie. We got to get to the nitty gritty of life. And in our marriages, to build a relationship, love doesn't judge. So what does it do? Here is your kiss, the keep it simple strategy. Love protects. Love protects. And love protects in a very honest way. Not rude. Not, oh, I'm going to kind of stab you in the side when it's convenient for me. Love protects, period. We talked about how love is patient, love is kind. Now we're saying that love protects. What does that look like? Number one, you have to discard assumptions and judgments. Don't assume, don't judge. We do it, so be aware of that and don't do it. It's as simple as that. Is it easy? Nope. We got to work on it? Yep. I work on it all the time. I work on it not just with my husband, but I work on it with my children. I work on it with my family because we are very, very, very close. And it's very easy for us to make, oh, these judgment calls and these assumptions like this is how it looks to you. Well, maybe it does to you in your lens, but if you go on the other side, whoa, The picture may be a little bit different. The circumstance, the moment. 
Love protects. Disregard the assumptions, the judgments. Don't assume. Don't judge. Number two, learn the facts. Ask questions. Seek the truth. Now, it would have been a lot different had my husband come home and said, hey, baby, how was your day? Then I could tell him all the exciting things that happened. But we didn't even get to that point. Why? Well, because mama already called him out on it, didn't she? I did. I already said, this is what you thought. Now, it was the appropriate time to do that. Had he had probably a really, really bad day, I would have never brought it up. So again, timing is, is essential too. You got to be careful. But we have come a long way in our relationship. And so he and I both feel very comfortable in not necessarily calling each other out on things like this, but recognizing, acknowledging, because love protects. And that's what I was doing right then. I was like, hun, you're making all these assumptions. Whoa, 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 time out, time out. They're wrong. And if you would have asked me what happened through my day, you would have gotten the answer. But no, your assumptions went this way. So your whole conversation wasn't even going to go there because you didn't want to know what you thought you already knew, which was totally wrong and incorrect. So for me, since I knew what was going on, I could tell love protects. So you got to learn the facts, ask questions, seek the truth. Because when you do that, it leads you to number three, focus on your mate, not your reaction. Listen, listen, listen. We are too concerned with formulating a response when in a situation. We jump ahead way too far. Think about it. I mean, seriously, the next conversation you have, are you in that moment? Are you actually listening to each single word? Do you hear how many breaths he takes or that she takes in your discussion and your communication? Because if you're already fast forwarding and trying to formulate a response, oh, whoa, whoa, slow down, time out, you're in full judgment. You are. And that's not a good way to live. And that's not a way to build your marriage. It will tear it up slowly over time. And honestly, when you're formulating that response, you're missing some critical information because you're not listening. And that's where chaos hits the fan. That's when the assumptions are wrong and you keep those in your head because they're your thoughts. And those speak much louder than what's coming out of the mouth of your partner. It overrides it. And so what you remember are your thoughts. Negative or positive, they're your thoughts. So you never heard the story. The whole story. Love doesn't judge. Love protects. And when it protects, it leads us to number four. It gives you a chance to breathe. Breathe. That space that you need. It's important because sometimes, you know what? All we need to do is listen and it stops there. It doesn't deserve a response. It doesn't need a response. Especially for us women, we just like to talk. I really do. I love to talk. And I can tell you one story one way. And I can still tell you the same story, but it's going to be told 10 to 12 different ways again. And I can still talk about it and it's still going to sound fresh and it's still going to have whatever emotions that I had the very first time I had it. Oh, it's still going to come out the next 10 to 11, 12 times I talk about it. We love to talk, but sometimes we just need to stop and we need to breathe, breathe. And number five, love protects because you got to love them where they're at. This isn't about right or wrong. This isn't about keeping score. This is about building a relationship. Are you always right? Nope. And I can say that too. Am I always right? Oh, no way I'm not. Do I like to be right? Yes, I do. But I don't gloat about it. I don't say, ha ha, that's one thing I did not do with my husband when he admitted the whole thing as to what I told him. And he's like, well, at least I admitted it. I said, you're right. You did. Love protects. And I told him, I said, that's what I love about you. And then I also finished it, but that's how well I know you. I know him that well because I've taken time to build a relationship, to listen, 
to see his intricacies, his quirks, good or bad, big or small. And he's learning the same thing about me. Are you doing that in your relationship? Love protects, and ultimately, that's what it means. Love doesn't judge. Drop the judgments. Drop the assumptions. Protect instead. If you want some help with this, click on the link, Take Aim. It's a complimentary coaching call with me. I would love to come beside you. We can talk about your marriage, maybe if you're struggling, specific to your situation. We can talk tools and strategies, what isn't working for you right now, and maybe things that we can switch it up. I would love to come beside you. So click on the link, Take Aim, in the show notes. I want you to think through this whole thing about... Love doesn't judge because I don't want you jumping to conclusions because how many times have your conclusions been skewed? Love protects. So go out this weekend. You're going to be with family and friends. Guess what? Protect. Think about the celebration here in the U.S. The 4th of July is a celebration of our freedom. What an awesome way to celebrate than thinking that we have the freedom to protect our loved ones. And we do that by not judging, by not making those assumptions, by learning the facts, asking the questions, seeking the truth, and listening. And ultimately, sometimes taking a step back and breathing, giving space, and loving them where they're at. Love protects. Build on that relationship this holiday weekend. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, love, and lots and lots of hugs. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.